Hi guys, what I'm going to be doing in this video is showing you on MarketSmith how to scan for stocks that meet the Mark Minervini volatility contraction pattern setup. So it's going to be all about how do you go about scanning for those volatility contraction pattern setup stocks. So let's get straight into it. So what we've got is MarketSmith loaded up on the chart here. You want to click over here where you can see this screen alert and note. So Hit that, that'll bring this out. And what you can see up here is you've got new screen. So what I want you to do is click new screen and click new stock screen. So let's just call this VCP setups because that is what we are looking for, those volatility contraction pattern setup. So what this will then bring up is a, is a screen that looks like this. Now what I want you to do is click on screen from the MarketSmith database. So I want you to left click on that. And what you need to do is come into reports and then make sure you've got stocks and technical drop down and then what I want you to do is scroll down now MarketSmith have designed the one month five month and five month wide template around the Mark Minervini criteria from his book so go ahead and click I like clicking the five month so click the five month and go select so that's now going to start screening stocks that MarketSmith deemed to meet the Mark Minervini trend template criteria. So we're going to start being in the ballpark now. But what we want to do is potentially refine it a little bit more. Why? Because we can see there's 318 stocks here. And obviously what we want to do is focus on the strongest stocks in the market that are displaying those VCP characteristics. So the volatility contraction pattern. So we see the volume decreasing from left to right. We see price spread tightening from left to right and going through these contractions. So what we want to do is I like it's loaded up here already so we can see this smart select so I like to have the composite rating which is basically MarketSmith combines all of the different ratings here and it ranks it 0 to 100 and I want it to be above 80 so I want the composite rating above 80 and that's going to take it down it should say it up here so we've already gone down from 318 to 238 stocks okay great I also want to make sure the relative strength is nice and high. So I want to go for above 85. Let's see what we start coming down to now. Okay, we're down to 186, which is much more much more workable. We can also see the industry group relative strength. So this is this is quite interesting. What and again, I think I think this more comes from the Nicholas Darvis in his books, how to how to beat the stock market, how I made two million in the uh, in the market as well. Nicholas Darvis wanted to be in the strongest industry groups. I think he was one of the first to really start doing this. He wanted to be in the strongest stock within the strongest industry group because you could have very strong stocks, but they could be in a weak industry group. So actually, it's going to be dragged down by the industry group a little bit. So Nicholas Darvis was all about okay, he wants those winning stocks, stocks that are in the best industry industry group showing the most strength against the uh, or relative to the market so industry group relative strength rating let's see what happens see how many stocks we get here if we click just a so we had 186 okay we've now gone down to 119 this is this is much more workable maybe maybe we can get a little bit more maybe we'll tick b as well so we've got the the two best industry group ratings here a and b we've actually gone up to 173 stocks so actually i'm going to get rid of b we've still got that 100 and 120 odd 119 wasn't it yeah, 119 stocks. Okay, great. We've now got 119 stocks. We know they're all going to be in the A for industry group relative strength. We know the composite rating is going to be above 80, and we've got the relative strength rating above 85. And you know what? We could also put an earnings per share rating of above 85 as well. Let's see how many comes out now. So we've gone from 119 down to 57. So what we want to do now is start looking at our stocks. You can see we've got VCP setups down here, and this will list out all the stocks. Obviously, we want to we want to have our chart. So we just click here, and now we've got view chart. And I'm going to make this smaller over here, so the chart should go a little bit bigger. Here's a Adobe is that one of them? Yeah, Adobe. I actually took the trade in here on this uh, on this pivot breakout there, and then sold it into this climactic one and did a YouTube video on that. So what we can start doing is you can manually click through these, okay? Which can be a little bit annoying. So what I like to do is I like to just have a, a piece of paper next to me, and what I'll do is I'll just click play here. So what I'll do is I'll go play, and what you'll see is this will automatically start going through them. So you can see volatility contracting uh, in AEM. AMD, we can see that's broken out now a little bit climactic, but there was actually a really nice, just go back to that one, okay, volatility contraction pattern that I traded here. You can see it going from left to right, 
okay, breakout here, and then there was another one, the breakout the other day again. These are the type of stocks that I send out to my to my premium members in real time alert. So if you wanna look at that, then go and check out, there's a link in the description to become a premium member, you get all of these real time alerts sent to you. So I'll just be going through here, just leave it on play, it does about one every every second or two seconds or so. Okay, Am, Amaretta, uh, Amazon here, a little bit extended up the right side, but a previous breakout. Let's keep going here. Okay, tightening up, but not really near this line of least resistance. Yamaha Gold, bit too far down, like to sit up here. So it's just a case of now scanning through, having your notepad re ready. There was a good breakout here, but this now looks a bit extended. Biorad, don't like that. Don't know what's going on there with the with the volume. Okay, too extended here. So you can see how quickly you can start going through. We're obviously looking at the leading stocks in the market. There was a breakout yesterday for top build. Okay, but too far gone for me. B2 Gold mm -hmm. selling down here, a bit too far. CDNS, okay, that's starting to tighten up. So we can see that this is starting to tighten up here. We can see that it's one of the market leaders. Look at the recovery from March, nice uptrend here. So maybe it's now building another base as it looks to summit uh, its own Mount Everest. So again, this would be a stock that CDNS, Candice Design Systems, I would just drop that down. I'd come back to it later. You can also just flag it in here if you wanna do that. So we can just flag that one and then we can come back to them all, all later. I just like writing them down. Oh, that looks interesting there, doesn't it? Charles River Labs, look how tight this is getting, okay? We can see a previous breakout, we can see the recovery from March. This is getting really, really tight. So do you know what, I'm gonna flag that one, CRL. So this is looking really, really interesting to me. Look how tight this is getting. So again, this is ways that you can scan for, you can identify the strongest stocks in the market that are in the strongest industry group, okay, and then look to take trade. So hopefully you have enjoyed this video about finding those Mark Manavini volatility contraction pattern setups using MarketSmith. I send out the real-time alert stocks that looking like this, the strongest ones in the market to my premium members. You get all my courses as well. Go check out the link in the description if you want to look at that and if you're brand new to trading never traded before in your life go and check out my five free trading lessons or my it's for free my five trading lessons every beginner must know there's a link in the description you just need to enter your email address so thank you very much for watching if you're new to the channel please do subscribe hit that hit the uh, hit the like button also hit that bell icon you'll be alerted every time i upload a video and leave me a comment down below